Towers of Doom Division 1 Scuff Team versus Hands Up. Now, what will we be seeing here in this spectacular map? It is actually one of my favorite maps, personally, because you can go to 2 HP and still win this game. It doesn't matter. You can play for late game because you won't win early game. You could win pretty early on, but yeah, it doesn't really happen that often to be fair, now does it? So first things first, we are looking at a Sergeant Hammer ban for the first one on the side of Hands Up. And a Genji for Scuffed Team. So that means there's most likely a Genji player on the red team at the moment. Or not, and they just don't like to play against it. That's totally fine as well. Gim's doing a mod duties here. Nice. Except tournaments with an N. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Sylvanas gets kicked out as well. And they just don't want to deal with any siege, so it seems. No siege for you. Then again, they bat. Mm. Yeah, no, let's see. Let's see what their second ban will be. I don't I don't know. I it's always a mystery when you're casting teams. And you're looking at that ban, like, what are they gonna ban? There's so many heroes they can ban. Genji, Genji, yeah, Genji's out, man. And we get a Lucio ban. I, uh, yeah. Lucio is a pretty strong healer, is he? The high five, man. Ah, they get Junkrat. That is all already sad for the blue team. <laughs> Playing against the Junkrat is never fun. And we're going to get a Hanzo and a Hogger. Hogger on Towers of Doom is pretty, pretty nice. Except, yeah, that's what you're going to get against it. Um, it's not the worst for a Hogger, except the Hakka is a little bit faster when it comes to double soaking. Uh, which is pretty much what this map is going to be all about. Then again, Hogger is very hard to kill. Unless you await for his spin. Uh, but yeah, we get a Diablo on a red team as well. Genji haters. <laughs> uh, Gims is not a happy panda right now. Not a happy, not a happy lot. Not a happy sloth. Yeah, we're just gonna call people sloths who are in the in the heroes lounge community. Sloth. Everyone's a sloth. He's not a happy sloth. Sloth. I can't pronounce it. What's up, FP Mano? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. If you're watching this from home, and you're watching this from the YouTube, most specifically, uh, there's a link in the description below, and, you know, that's where we are live casting it. The Twitch link, just get over there. I'm streaming almost every day, casting Heroes Lounge games, um, and occasionally my own stream. Uh, my own games, my own tournament, all that stuff. So yeah, that's what's happening as well. We do get a Johanna ban and a Brightwing as well on the other hand. And Anduin and Meridian getting locked in. I do like an Anduin healer. Anduin's always nice. And we get a Stukov and a Tychus on the red team. Calypso will be playing on the Stukov for now. Vikings! Okay, we're getting a Viking. So, Hogger, what are you going to do then? Hogger is going to chill, but this is game number one. <laughs> Division one of Heroes Lounge. Uh, enjoy the game. Uh, game number one. Division one of Heroes Lounge. Scuff team versus Hands Up with Hanzuka playing Anduin. Aviator playing Hanzo. Pepper is on Hogger. Lucky on Muradin. And we got Mr. Tycho on the Vikings. And on hands up side, we got Squeaky on the Haka. Calypsa is on Stukov. Cesar is on Tychus. Ari on Diablo. And Commander Rex on Junkrat. Here we go. Now let's look at those talents instantly. We're looking at a W on Hanzo. Bribe on the Vikings. So the Vikings are going to take a lot of camp control. That is something that will happen a lot. And we're gonna get... We're not getting a speedy 
uh, the Hawkeye here, it's gonna be a, well, additional HP, so he's gonna work on that for the coming game. But yeah, he's gonna be bullied by these Vikings all the time. Yeah, Hogger, Hogger's gonna be more in the team fight. Uh, I was gonna say, like, Hogger's gonna lose that, uh, that soak fight versus a uh, Dahaka, but, well, now he doesn't have to soak against him, so that is actually pretty nice. Yeah, Junkrat could really be a problem for the blue team. Not right now, because he's very low, and he's on a basic horse. Ay ay ay, what is this? And so is Tychus, but then on the beast. Ay 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 ay, but yeah, they're, they're, it's fine. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll deal with it, alright? It's fine. Both teams taking the camps, and, well, I, I have a... Uh, a Ari Diablo fan in the chat right now, so I'm very hyped for that. So let's see what happens. Let's hope that the yeah that the hopes will be true. Yeah, Dark is still going. Mr. Tycho is uh, doing his best to soak. Yeah, he can't really do any mu uh, much more, can he? Yeah, Diablo is just being very annoying to the enemy team, and Hansuka is getting very low. It's because his Team was running back and he was still standing there. Ah, Hanzo got saved and Diablo dies. That is very nicely done there by the blue team. Stukov, however, does get Stukov. I said Stukov. It is, <laughs> it, it is a Junkrat. Junkrat got caught there and so does Muradin. So at the end of the day, it's a two for one. So it's still uh, a win in the eyes of a blue team. XP wise, the Haka is doing very well actually. He's doing very well. He's keeping up on XP like quite a lot. But here comes a blue team going for a gank on Squeaky. And it's not the easiest character to gank. But now that that E is already out, it might be a kill. Yeah, it is. But here's Diablo for Hanzuka. But no, nah, Hanzuka's walking away. Very nicely done by the blue team. Unfortunately for Red. Yeah, that Lucky is going to have a little bit less luck soon versus Tychus. And yeah, this is what Vikings is going to make very strong here, is it? They're just going to stand here with one of the Vikings, cap it over here and stall it for as long as it needs. Making making them so good. Again, there you go. Now you're just going to stall. Just stall top until, until the, uh, yeah, the infinite abyss. Yeah, that's not what you call it. But yeah, Mr. Tycho is going to go and get bottom as well, but he doesn't get it yet. But yeah, he's just going to cap it. It's four men on bot, and one is one is like capturing it. Then Diablo is going to fall here. Mirrodin falls first. Diablo walks away, actually. That is because Pepper just about missed him, but he's going to die here. Possibly, no. Hanzo killed Tycho, and Hanzo is going to be fine here. Mr. Tycho does not get this. So actually, this might be a win for red team, but not yet. Don't don't celebrate too quickly. The Hawkeye can still choose to come down here, but they've got level seven. The blue team, and the red team does well. Now they do. <laughs> uh, now they got level seven. But yeah, killing this Viking is actually going to be pretty big for the Diablo because he's going to get souls from it. So that is always nice to have. But now we're going to get another fight coming out. And Aries getting very low. Smacking in on Lucky. But does pay for that. And Hanzo gets his quest done. Cesar is running for his life. But is not going to make it. And there we go. The blue team turned it back. So the fight on bot has given us 6 kills for blue. And 2 for red. That is pr pretty insane for the first objective. But yeah, let's see what uh, let's see what the the red team is gonna do about this right now. Tychus has Master Assassin, which means that he gets some extra bonus attack speed. But uh, yeah, he needs to get kills, takedowns at least, to, um, to to stack it up. So it's gonna take a little bit. And now blue team is gonna take the bottom fort but red team is looking like they want to invade maybe the hawker can come down now they don't they don't do that but the silence is in and lucky is getting very low does manage to get out but it was not a nice feeling having tychus in your face being a tank is just 
yeah, it's just so much fun, is it? Yeah, that's possibly gonna be one Viking dead. Uh, not yet, but yeah. Squeaky is gonna go down. Where is he gonna go? Down here, on the bottom. But the red team is fighting on top. So this is actually, yeah, not very nicely coordinated here by the red team. Unfortunately. Level 10 has been achieved for blue. Well, we see Arrow, a light bomb. The big avatar has gone out. And what else do we have? We get a shockwave and a play again for the Vikings. So the start is there. Pepper's getting caught, but saved by Anduin. And now red team will get level 10 as well. And we are looking at an isolation. Massive shove. It's isolation. Yeah, it's isolation. A rip tire, lightning breath, and as last, probably Odin. I mean, it should be. Or it's going to be Drill. Yeah, it's Odin. There we go. Uh, the Haka, when is he coming down? Surely he should be coming down soon. What's happening with my mouse? The Haka. Oh, nice cop there by the Stukov. Commander Rex was getting very low, but Tycho managed to sneak it. There you go. That's how simple it goes. Here's Muradin. Odin has been popped. But he's getting very low. We get a nice light bomb there on Lucky. And there goes the Stukov. We got a kill on Olaf. But yeah, he, he'll be back. Don't worry about it. Diablo loses all his souls. He gets to keep about 20 of them. 25. Hanzo dies and junk grab, but here goes the Tykers. And that's basically a team wipe, is it? Because, well, these guys over here, they don't really count. They're just, uh, yeah, they're just soaking. Yeah, this, is this greedy or not? We don't know. Well, there's not too greedy, apparently. Ari's not going to do anything about it for now. It did look a little bit greedy, but they managed to get it. Yeah, 11 kills for blue already and 4 for the red team. That is pretty sick. Like, a lot of fights. More than I expected. But yeah, it's all about the end game. Like, red team is not out by... F <laughs> I like, at all. Like, they're not out. It can all turn around. And if they get level 20 first, then it could be problematic for the blue team. Right, let's uh, let's see what the uh, the Vikings are gonna go for a little brawly uh, state soon. Not yet, but they will soon. From level 16 on, they can they can deal some nice damage. However, did they get jump and not the uh, the ultra attack? But we are looking at a shockwave that didn't go off. It didn't go off. It got cancelled. Arrow was used. Light bomb was used. The shockwave got cancelled. So, yeah, that is not ideal for blue, because now there's two major cooldowns on cooldown. And red team can actually run at them. And they do. Hanzo gets in trouble. Muradin gets kicked out, but here goes the shockwave and catches the Commander Rex. Oh, yeah, he dies, but he does take the hogger with him. Here comes the Haka. The Haka's going to dig in. Hanzuka is going to fall, however. Aviator is in trouble. He gets silenced and dragged, and that's the end of that. But they lose the shrine. So that's going to be another shrine for the blue team. He's not going to be in time. He's not contesting it either, but we're going to get some siege going. Lucky is going to get taunt taunted. He's going to get dragged, pulled back, pushed back, and, well, severely injured, I guess. But yeah, we are looking at a bot lane here, and... How much damage can they really do right now? Because the team is respawning. Oh, he misclicked. Unfortunate. Yeah, XP-wise, Vikings is really showing the worth right now. Because sometimes Squeaky has to come down and, well, leave the Vikings to get some soak. Mr. Tycho, Olaf is dead. He is dead. So that's going to get a little bit less XP, which is pretty big, actually. But level 16 has been achieved for the blue team. So one major power spike is happening. We get piercing arrows. 
So there's not going to be any percentage damage for the Diablo. Which does and doesn't really surprise me to be fair. But yeah, we are looking at a little brawl down here. Squeaky has come down, so that means that he's not getting 16. But yeah, these um, these camps are both being taken equally. No problem. And level 16 has been achieved for the red team. But the shockwave comes out, and that means that Stukov is not doing anything. Stukov misses his massive shove. Tychus is getting caught, but gets saved by Diablo? Nah, no, not really. Diablo is gonna die as well, most likely. But all oh, the healing of the W. It's just too big. Tychus did die. And that is gonna be another shrine for the blue team. And you know, this is the moment where it should start turning around. Because otherwise it's gonna be too late. It might be. It might be too late soon. Yeah, let's see what happens. Eri is taking us so much damage. It's actually quite insane. Calypso now as well. Hanzo is just doing so much damage. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's really a race to, uh, to the first level 20, I think. Pepper could be in trouble, but gets stunned. Well, no, the Diablo gets stunned. By the Mirrodin, so the Pepper is actually safe. Tychus is going to go for a little flank. Here comes Squeaky. Squeaky silences the Anduin. And Anduin is going to fall. Yeah, here we go. But three man in the stun. Pepper is going to fall if he doesn't care. Yeah, he's dead. There you go. The Hawk uh, comes in, making it a 4v5. And Hogger dies. So now we're going to see a little bit more push on bot lane here. Gonna try and poke down this fort, but the retreat has been sounded. So I don't think they are gonna continue for this. Or are they? But they can't really do a lot here. So Eri is in a little bit of trouble, you know. Uh, yeah, no, just about. Just about, like. Not, not in time, sadly. The healing was literally 0.1 second too late. Yeah, Squeaky has to clear top, and it's not going to be game yet if blue team gets all of them. But if blue team gets all of them, they are coming very close, but they're not going to, I don't think. Well, I say that. Ah, uh, Lucky's in danger. Lucky gets saved. Lucky got lucky. But yeah, play again is still in there. I think, yeah, play again is still in there. Diablo is capturing this, so uh, they got one shrine. Arrow is going to... Yeah, where's it going? Australia, I think. Yeah, they're still fighting for top. And the Hakka can't really let them get it. But the longer the Hakka stalls, the more XP the Vikings are going to get. So yeah, someone has to get XP. And yeah, that's a kill on the Vikings, but it leaves... People vulnerable on bot. Like, look how fast the blue team responds to that. Instantly going down because there's one man missing. And they're going for this camp. However, this is not looking too good for either of the teams. They could both die. But both the supports are actually dying here. Stukov and Anduin have died. But Pepper is in a load of trouble here. And falls. Who's... Yeah, it's the blue ones, I think. Oh, no. Red. Red got them. There we go. So this is a this is a win for the red team on this team fight. So now it's all about pushing in those sappers and see what happens. Yeah, here comes the sappers. So that should get this fort. And level 20 has been achieved. So we get a big silence now. We're gonna get push comes to shove. We're getting a big red button. Extra oomph, so it means a lot of cooldown reduction. Especially with Vikings. And Diablo is gonna pick... Maybe maybe the Life Leech? Perhaps? Oh, he's gonna go for Hellgate. So either, either that or... Uh, or the Hellgate. I do like the... Uh, I do like them both. They both have a place. But yeah, now it is protecting bot lane. Hoping that the Vikings don't get anything. And, well, you should be fine. Here we go. 30 seconds. Uh, the rebuild has been... Start... 
it's going to be very interesting to see how far they can push it. The Vikings are coming down here, but we're looking at a silence on Muradin. Muradin is in so much trouble and dies. Yeah, there we go. Silence has been used on Hogger, however. Hogger did manage to get the... Uh, yeah, to get the shockwave off, but that is going to be one shrine for red. It's going to be both shrines. So yeah, the rebuild officially has started. We're going to get 10 shots. And that's basically bringing it back to the same uh, to the same level, honestly. It's really not that far away. It's only 6 difference. So there's one shrine. If they win it with one shrine, they are basically equal. Yeah, now the question is, how far is the hawker going to push everything in? Because if he gets more, then it's going to be super difficult for... Oh, look at the damage! It gets so underestimated, the damage that that the mercenary lord actually does. Like One of those sappers takes down an entire tower. That's actually insane. Alright, Commander Rex is going for the siege camp here. Yeah, blue team is looking for squeaky here. Sappers have been transported in, so now we're actually going to look like a very equal fight if this one gets in as well. Boss is being surrounded. Are they potentially going for the boss? Yes, there they go. They're going to get the boss, and the boss is actually going to be super nice to have for them. But red team is kind of noticing. They are coming in right now. The shockwave is being used and the... I had a brain lag there. <laughs> the arrow and the light bomb have been used as well. Hellgate is used so Diablo can get out. But that's a big stun by Muradin. Calypso is running. We do get a hogger dying. And Aviator is getting very low but escapes. Mr. Tycho is... Yeah... Running at them with Baylog, but Baylog falls. And now, are they going to choose to get the boss off the map? I don't think they will. But yeah, that's another five shots. Just about. Lucky jumped in, so Lucky is in a lot of trouble here. Unless that happens. Very nicely done by the red team. But yeah, the level, the level 20 of red team is pretty scary. I must admit that. And now, all of a the sudden, they've taken the lead. Sally didn't get the full cooldown reduction there. Because those Vikings, they went up. Up and up and up. Yeah, that's a kill on one Viking. But oh, that's massive damage on Muradin. That's silence. Ay, ay, ay. Stukov. Stukov damage. It's insane. And all of a sudden... We see uh, the uh, the Haka going up there. Going to destroy top. Probably. Maybe not yet. But. Yeah. I don't think that Viking can do a lot about it. He might actually kill Viking first. Another Viking has joined the battle. But they get top lane. Top lane is destroyed. And now everyone is moving all the way up to get Squeaky out of the way. Ah, they missed both ults. That is insane. Can he get out? Nah, I can't get out. But that's two ults wasted. And this is basically going to be a six cap. So that's going to be a lot of damage. They will get the sappers in probably. Um, but yeah, this, this can be game. And there they go, three shots. Yeah, no, this is game if they don't stop it. Arrow. Arrow should be coming in here as a last resort. Nah, it's too late. It's too late, this is GG. Ah, there it comes. Game number one. The scuff team versus hands up. GG. Currently hands up is 1-0 up. Uh, because they've won the previous game, that's usually how it works. So we are looking at Battle for the Fraternity now. Usually this map gets banned a lot these days and well we can look for some nice comps here And what would we be thinking about? Uh, yeah, that's a good question Vala gets insta locked 
But I doubt on Division 1 he gets in, so look, she. Zul'jin. Fraynor. What else do we have? Li Ming. Li Ming? Auto attacker? No. Of course not. Li Ming doesn't auto attack. Li Ming is, is big destruction. That's what Li Ming is. But yeah, we're looking at another... But yeah, the, the, the Sergeant Hammer gets banned again. And there is the Diablo ban. They don't want to deal with it again. And a Blaze ban. Hanzo gets banned as well because it's... Aviator was a very good Hanzo. And it's like perfect race on this map as well. So, yeah, I understand that ban. All right, then we get the Sylvana. Sylvana's got banned previous game, so yeah, let's uh, let's see what he can do with the Sylvanas. And Lucio got banned as well, so there's the Lucio. Lucio is not a snail, though. Lucio is super fast. Mixon's gonna like this as well because he uh, plays Lucio. I don't know if he likes Lucio, but he plays it. Hope you're doing well, anyway, Mixon. Thank you for coming in. And we get an Erel. Erel is pretty nice. That, if it's a very good Erel, they're going to have a lot of trouble with that. So it depends what their offlaner is going to do. But that's uh, that's up to Blue Team to respond. That's why I don't really like locking in early offlaner. Because then your opponent has a chance to counter it if they really want. Now Hogger into Erel. I think it's a very fair fight. So to say. In World of Warcraft, it's not. But in this game, anything can happen. And we get a Rhaegar for Hanzuka. And I've seen uh, I've seen his Rhaegar in Meta Madness. And I did like it. It was a good uh, was a good Rhaegar. So let's see if we get the same right now. Chromie gets yeeted in the bin you go. She's small enough to be in the bin, so I guess there you go. <laughs> Mix in the, the Haka Lucio. Did the Haka Lucio. Yeah, we all we've all uh We've seen it. <laughs> uh What is their final band going to be? It's probably a tank, isn't it? Ah Tracer, whatever. Tracer is good, rides a tank. Main tank tracer. It's good when you're not right. So that means that they're thinking outside the box. I don't think outside the box. My drinky is still not gone, so that's good. But it's good news. So, Commander Rex, uh, Cesar is picking the Grey Man. Commander Rex on Alarak. Oh, that's nice. I like Alarak. Alarak is... Um... Li Ming and Johanna get locked in. And Li Ming was something that I kind of predicted already. Li Ming is just such a nice, uh, nice way to race on the Immortal. But also, very nice damage if you can lock him down with a Johanna. Now, are we going to see Varian in, in return? If you lose, your soul is mine. Diablo is banned. He can't do that. We get a Muradin, so they're gonna de de pick the Muradin, Eri pick the Muradin, and we are off to the second game, game number two. Game number two, hands up leads with a 1-0 win because they've won on Towers of Doom in an epic way. Scuff team with Aviator on Sylvanas, Hanzuka on Rhaegar, Lucky Johanna, we got a Pepper on Hogger. Mr. Tycho is playing Li Ming this time. And on the red team, we got Squeaky on Irel, who is going to terrify the top lane. Calypsa on Lucio. Commander Rex on Alarak. Cesar on Gureymane and Eri on Muradin.
Good luck, have fun. Here we go. Now, we're instantly looking at two people on top. So, they kind of want to gank our uh, our hogger up there. Lucio's instantly coming up as well. So, that leaves the red team kind of vulnerable on bot lane at the moment. Yeah, they're instantly going to try and do some apply some pressure on top. It's kind of what you... Yeah, a traditional setup, like two people on top, three on bottom. Yeah, there you go. Liu Ming has to go to a top now as well. So it's um, it's a full on three v three now on bot lane, and people are trying to out button the um, the opponent. That's kind of what happens uh, before level four. Try to click buttons as fast as you can, faster than your opponent. So far, it is looking like Blue Team is winning that little race because Eri and Commander Rex are getting very low. Hanzuka, however, gets low as well, but that should be a kill on these, uh, on the Lucio. Very nicely done. First blood has been drawn by Blue Team. And they're going for the camp instantly. No hesitation. Take the camp and then get out of the way. Hogger is in a little bit of trouble here. Not too much, however. And there we go. We got the first siege camp as well. Yeah, blue blue team is here with a mission. They are gonna try and get that win. Like they need that win to stay into this game. But yeah, don't underestimate red. Don't underestimate them at all. Because you might draw first blood, but it doesn't say anything to us yet. Irao is looking for a little thing on bot lane, but... Yeah, not yet, not yet, not yet. Irao's coming down here. I don't think uh, Calypso can read that right now, Mixon. <laughs> that is the third eye. That is the third eye. Kaldor sees everything. Level 4 has been achieved for both teams. We are looking at a little lightning laser boy on the... What is his name again? I, <laughs> yeah, the, there you go here. Alarak. Oh my god. I don't know what is wrong with me today. But we are looking at a very low Johanna. But Johanna does manage to survive. Instead, Calypso gets actually very low. He will read it later. Yeah, probably. That is probably going to happen. Squeaky is all by himself. All by himself without ult. So, eh, I don't really know if you want to do this. Because this is going to cost you. Yep, there you go. Yeah, there you go. But the race is kind of getting won here. But yeah. Red team can't fight here. They, they can't fight. Like, that's going to be a big problem. So, Vonis is, is going to go for raid. Uh, for raid. For the uh, for the immortal. There's no raids here. Alright, Ero is coming back. And the raids will carry on to happen. Except, Aviator is putting up the pressure. And here we go. We're going to get some damage on the immortal. Everyone is focusing the immortal right now. And that should be an immortal for the red team, but not so fast because everything's getting disrupted. But uh, Alarak's getting low. Yeah, it is. It is one for the red team, but at what cost? It actually costs you one of your characters, one of your heroes. So yeah, this should be a very easy defense for the blue team. Serve the dark lady. And they're actually going to counter push it. So, yeah. In instead of defending, they just... Yeah, never mind. They're not doing anything anymore. But they were kind of going for it. And that's a stun on Tycho there. Tycho got pushed into the stun by the Alarak. And yeah, this immortal hasn't really done anything. But it's the first immortal after all. So don't worry about that too much. But yeah, we are looking for... Something? Squeaky? What are you gonna do? He's gonna chill. He's gonna chill there. Calypso's coming up now. Getting jumped on Lucky. But Lucky is not the target. If you want to jump on. Nice prediction by Eri. 
And that might be a kill on the Li Ming. Now Li Ming gets out, but this is not looking good for Calypsa. Has to run, has to run. Eri is getting low as well, and they have to back off. But Greymane is actually going to go for this camp while Pepper is looking at him. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice camp. No, don't even do that, man. Squeaky is going to come in here. So perhaps they can do something. Okay, they get the camp. And now the whole team is here. So now maybe they can do something about it. How about Pepper? But Pepper escapes. Barely. Barely escapes. Cesar is in deep trouble here because Li Ming is here with a mission. But the camp is taken and that is the most important bit, I guess. Alright, so four people on bot lane right now from the red team. Uh, never mind, make that two. Make that one. Okay, they're all gone. What are they going to do? Are they going to try and fight? There goes Eri. It's going up there. It's going to look for something. Might be looking for Hanzuka here, to be fair. If they catch everything and they will? No, instead, Greyman gets very low. And for some reason, Hanzuka doesn't die here. And still doesn't die, I don't think. That is... That, that should be a kill. That should be a kill, 100%. Oh, with Calypso's getting chased right now, but it does get out. Look at that healing. All of a sudden. Okay, so ults are about to hit. Blue team is going to get them before the red team does. So, yeah. You kind of have to fight before. Oh, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's a shame. Okay, so we're still going to carry on. Aviator is doing a little bit of damage on the Immortal now, but level 10 is going to be achieved by the blue team now. And we're going to look at a Wailing Arrow, a big, big heal. There's the Wailing Arrow. Wave of Force. Is that a Shockwave? That is a Shockwave. And a big stun by the Johanna. But level 10 for the red team is going to be achieved as well. And we're looking at Ardent, Defender, Sound Barrier, Counter-Strike, Go for the Throat, and Avatar. But yeah, what is happening here now? So, Red Team is on the offense right now. And that's a massive stun and a massive Sound Barrier there by Calypsa. And they are looking at a... Yeah... The fight is kind of scattered. Mr. Tycho is getting a little bit low and dies. Lucio dies as well. But so does the Grey Mane. So that is unfortunate for them. Very unfortunate. That was good effort. What about the blue team? Yeah, there's not much you can do here on your own. Yeah, I guess you can do that. <laughs> He's on 83 sadism, however. So it's not too much. The light of the crystal arch I even forgot to talk about this. We're getting we're having a, a perfect storm mirrored in here. But yeah, that unstoppable is just too good. Like it's one second longer, is it? Or two. Yeah, two oh no wait, the cooldown reduction. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. It's uh, it's annoying to play against. Uh, well, it looks like the blue team is going to do some damage here on this fort. Yeah, there's the black arrow and Aerie is getting very low. Pepper is going to go in here with a shockwave and we get a kill on the grey main. Fort falls as well. And this could potentially be a keep wall here. And a little bit more than that. I think they're going to do some damage on the on the keep. But not too much. Not too much damage. And that's okay. Like they're backing off. They've had enough. Yeah, it's a, it's a little scratch. Needs a little bit of paint. And then you're fine. 
But yeah, here we go. Blue team is going to get this bot camp. And with that, they will get level 13. So that's one step in the right direction to the end game. Yep. Did they, they don't want this camp just yet? Like, I mean, you can clear it and then wait, I guess. Blue team is actually first going for top camp here. Instead. It's a, it's a good choice. And our red team should get level 13 fairly soon. But, like, nothing is really happening yet. Like, it's, it's fine. It doesn't really matter too much. The sun is there. They need a few good team fights and then something could happen here. But the team fight is not yet happening. We get a cleanse on Aviator there. Shockwave is hit, but it kind of missed, I would say. So that is an ult that is on cooldown right now. But yeah, we're getting a chase on Squeaky. But Squeaky is fine. Blue team is... Kind of separated at the moment, but they're grouping back up. So yeah, bot lane is fairly important. And now we could be looking at an invade here, because Hogger is on top. And they're thinking about it. Yep, here they go. The silence, the trade has been used as well. And we're going to look at a red camp here. Oh, the silence. A Ardent Defender has been popped right now, so that is actually pretty big. Well done by the Irel, but everyone's getting super low and they're escaping. So they managed to get the camp and then leave. Maybe they get a kill even? Oh, but we get Greymane down. Ah, Squeaky was greedy there. So yeah, they got the camp, but at what cost? That is the real question. Because Li Ming is getting, getting resets and that's really not something that you would want here. Because Ming gets another reset. And, well, it's actually like taking out the entire team. And this is what I mean. Like, Ming is perfect for the Immortal but also perfect for a team fight. It's pretty... Um. Yeah, top is gone. But ah, uh, the stun. Who stunned? Was that? Uh, that was not the blessed shield, was it? It was actually. It was the blessed shield. Okay, so the halftime show has happened, and there's no level 16 yet. So red team kind of feels like they should fight right now. Before level 16. Uh, but the shockwave. Lucio got stunned. Lucio needs to ult in a minute. Yeah, there you go. But Squeaky is not hit. So Squeaky is going to die here. Squeaky didn't have Ardent Defender for another 10 seconds. We get a massive yield on Mr. Tycho. And Cesar got a little greedy. And is most likely going to die here. Yeah, this guy's toast. Uh, bot, look at that XP over there. Yet again, they're not done yet. Like, they're two levels down. They have a lot of work to do. But it doesn't mean that they're out of the game. Even though this is going to be a nearly full immortal. Going to be pushing top lane. So, that, that, could be, that, that could be fairly problematic. But, you know what? That's, that's, that's not what this is about, right? <laughs> Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how they handle this. Okay, so both teams are back on full strength, except red team doesn't have level 16 yet. So this could be a little bit problematic here. Pepper is getting very low, but the blast shield taking down the Greyman and the Alarak. And for some reason, Pepper is still living and actually gets another kill here. Killing the Erel. And this is <laughs> this is really not looking good for Red all of a sudden. Like, that one team fight. That was insane. Like, they've been losing team fights all, all over the place. But this one is really decisive. And they're going to go for core. Like, half Immortal still on the shield. 
there's there's no reason to back off here right now. Eri is going to be targeted here. There's no ults except Wailing Arrow, which might be used in a minute. Yeah, there we go. It got used, but it got missed. So, yeah, that's not really a thing. Calypso is getting very low as well with that hit, but that is game number two. Hands up versus Scuff Team 1-1. One, one. There we go. Game number three of the series. Scuff Team versus Hands Up. So far, they've been keeping each other in balance because it is 1-1 one, one right now. If you're watching this from the YouTube, you're in luck because all the cuts are out. All the, the pauses. So it should be about a, an hour long. And if you've reached it to this far, thank you very much for your time. Your soul is mine. Ay, 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 yeah, you're gonna get. Um, so once again, if you are watching this, there's a link in the description where you can join the next cast. It's always fun. You can use some uh, channel points to uh, to try and guess who is the better team. Last game, it was Scuff Team. So there you go. All the points. Haru says that your soul is mine, but he lost all the points, and that is really not what you want. You know? We're gonna get a Junkrat ban, however, and a Sergeant Hammer once again. They just don't want to face it. <laughs> the Calder emotes. I like the Calder emotes. They, um. Always so, so, so serious on the emotes. It's pretty funny. Um. Man, yeah, we're gonna get a fallout ban as well. That's, I think, a little bit random here, to be fair. I don't know. I haven't seen anyone play Vala because Vala was not banned. A little bit random, perhaps, but maybe not. Maybe Q Vala is the new meta on Volskaya. I don't know the I don't know the meta of Volskaya. The map is a little bit boring, but um, hey, this is what we get. We're going to get a Sylvanas ban, however, on the red team, which I understand. Because Aviator was pretty pretty decent on it, but it's going to get the Hanzo now again. But yeah, Lucio is getting locked by Hanzuka, which means that we will not be seeing it on Calypsa. <laughs> Calypsa's leaving. So we're not going to get another game. Calypsa's soul has been stolen. And we will not have a third match. But yeah, of course, uh, there we go. We're going to get a Hogger and a Johanna this time on the red team. The Johanna was not there, no, was it? No, Hogger also getting picked by Squeaky this time. In, in Towers of Doom, we did see the Hogger. But we're not we're now seeing it on Volskaya Foundry. It's a little bit wide, however. So let's see how that works. We're going to get a Blaze. And there is the Hanzo. As predicted. I think Aviator just likes the, the heroes with bows. So maybe if Sylvanas and Hanzo are banned. He will go for Tyrande. Now that will be a sight. And we get a Tyrael ban. And what is the next ban going to be for the blue team? I'm really interested now in what that ban could be. Boom. Mephisto. Also not one that I've seen them play. So maybe they they just don't want to play against it. That's the thing. Yeah, it does leave open some nice DPS once again. Uh, it does leave a Li Ming open. Li Ming is always... Nice, especially when it comes to point protection. Uh, but we get a white main. <laughs> a white main is going to keep the entire team alive. As she should. And a Gul'dan. I wonder what type of Gul'dan it will be. Will it be like a Q or an E? We'll see about that. Maybe maybe Life Drain Gul'dan. That's a sight. <laughs> I, think, I think all the builds of Gul'dan are kind of viable. But the E is just... So nice for point, uh, like offense on the point. But then again, I'll just play what I think is good. And Lucky is taking the Diablo and Tycho has taken Falstad. 
So that could be a very nice combo there. Lucio might consider going for high five here as well, but I mean they're both they can use both ults really. Blaze with his Q, uh, no, it's an E, it's not his Q. Diablo coming in with a Q, Dragon Arrow possibly. False start getting them in position for a nice gust. That looks like a very nice combo there. And we're gonna, we're gonna get a murky for Commander Rex. So that is something. Uh, I have no idea where their comp is going with this to be fair. Is Hogger gonna be in the four man? It does look like it. So they're gonna have a Hogger in the four man. And murky is gonna roam around. And that is your biggest fear as a tank. A murky trying to eat you. So DPS please hit. Game number three between Scuff Team and Hands Up. Scuff Team managed to come back last game. Well, they kind of had it in control the entire time. But they managed to get a 1-1 out of this. And now we are at the decisive match point. With Aviator once again on Hanzo. Lucky is playing Diablo. Hanzuka on Lucio. Mr. Tycho on the Falstad. Pepper is on Blaze. Very nice team there. And on the red team, we got the captain, Squeaky, on the Murky. Calypso on White Main. Commander Rex on Hogger. Cesar on Gul'dan. And Eri on Johanna. Here we go. And we're looking at a W Hanzo once again. And instantly getting three stacks. It is a Q off. It's not a Q off. It is a Q Gul'dan. So yeah, that is a reasonable build, I would say. It's, I it's either E or Q, I would say. But yeah, we're going to get Journeyman cooking. And I've heard from uh, some voices that that could be a little bit of a bait. Uh, we're going to get Q on Falsa. So there's plenty of quests that people are going to try and complete. And a fishy deal on the Murky. So Murky... Yeah, this is a, this is a strategy that, that's been used a lot. Taking down the minions on this side. Stalling it. It's pretty nicely done there. Taking away the, the little bit of minions over there. And actually dragging two people away. They've decided to get this camp however. So that's a pretty nice choice. But yeah they still they still got dragged away. For quite a little bit. Look how fast the hogger and the white main managed to get this. And Commander Rex come on man. What is this amount? Guys. That should be like like instant report or something. Squeaky is going to die. Uh, yeah, see you later. But the elite support camp is being taken by the red team. Let's see if they can get it in time. Because that cheeky, cheeky camp is actually healing himself. And now they're going to fight for this. But it does look like red team is winning that fight. They killed the Diablo. So that is one step in the right direction. We got 12 stacks already on Hanzo. And we're two minutes in the game. That's pretty nice. Well done, Aviator. That's, same goes for Falstad. 24 already. And Gul'dan is on 14. So they're, they're quite stacking. They're, quite doing, they're doing a good job on the stacking. Uh, we only got two on, on Hogger, however. But it's okay, Hogger's taking the camp, so he's not really in the team fights. But yeah, look at the timing on both teams getting those siege camps. Like, they got the same time, the fortification camps, so they're so on time. But oh, Mr. Tycho is taking so much damage from Gul'dan. Oh, that is big. That's so big. Um, but yeah, that means that Falstad has to go back. Falstad obviously has fly, so he should be back in the fight pretty easily. And Aviator is working slowly to get his quest. And Gul'dan is in a little bit of trouble. But don't worry. He got self-healing and a white main. So level 7 is about to be achieved by the red team. Murky is going to make sure to get that. And he's going to get camp soon. Uh, but yeah, we got Slippery when wet. Uh, good evening to you as well. Hungry for power, so we're gonna get a little bit less healing, but yeah, who cares? Who cares? White Mane has so much healing. He's gonna be fine. But yeah, it's 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 a note for him that he will get his quest done. Gathering Storm is nearly completed, so that's gonna do a little bit of damage for 
foul start in the long run. Like, the first rod is like 15% extra. So, oh, that is pretty nice. Nice dodge by the Johanna. Johanna has to go out. They still have the... the like, the little thingies. Like, the turrets and, and the healing. They can be using it. To force a little fight over here. But they decide not to. Oh, Aviator is getting super low here. But yeah, he's okay. For now. Well, I wouldn't say okay, but... It's, it's fine. It's fine, okay? Quest completed, however. For both him and Falstart. And possibly Gul'dan. Yeah, Gul'dan completes his quest as well. So he gets a bit more range. But he might fall here. Never mind. So much healing. So much healing from Calypsa. From the little healing thing. And like his own life dream. Mr. Tycho is getting super low. Lucio dies, however. Falstart dies as well. Was too much poison damage. And the first objective is for the red team. Look at all these turrets, man. All these turrets. Imagine if they were all a little bit up. It would, like, stop the entire wave completely. But, yeah, this is not the best objective that you can have. Like, it's really not going to do that much. But, yeah, it's nice to have. Like, if the enemy has it, then you have to stop it. And now they have to stop you. Ults have been achieved, however. We're going to get March of the Murloc, Scarlet Ages... Shockwave, Horrify, and probably Blessed. He didn't pick yet. But Murky died somewhere on the map. But that's a lot of damage that is being applied on the blue team right now. Pepper's actually super low right now. Yeah, there we go. We get the, the Blessed Shield for the Johanna. And this is going to be the first fort that's being taken. So yeah, red team is, is not scared. They're going to go in here and they want to get something. Mr. Tycho. It would have been nice to see Squeaky with a little Octograb. Especially when they have a Falstad. Like literally grab the Falstad and blow him up. But I'm sure there's an idea behind this. Very nicely done. Level 10 has been achieved for the Baloo team as well. So we do get the high five. We get the Apoch, the Dragon Arrow, Gust and a Bunker Drop. The bunker drop could be saving uh, many people from the blue team. But maybe it doesn't. Let's let's find out. <laughs> All the ults are up so far anyway. And Pepper is getting hit instantly. It would have been a shame if he had to use the bunker instantly because of the Gul'dan. But that's that wasn't the case. So here goes the Murky. Murky is going to get targeted a little bit. Still getting targeted but he wants to get this camp. Yeah, there's not much you can do about this, Mr. Tycho. Getting the stun on Mr. Tycho and the fair arrow has been used by Hanzo. So two ults for one and a kill. So it's not too bad, all things considered. Diablo nearly has the soul stones. So that's going to mean that he will come back pretty soon if they manage to lose him in a team fight. Uh, but yeah, level 13 has also been achieved for red. So they are really keeping them busy. Having basically two solo laners on the team. One time Murky is with them. And one time Hogger is just roaming around getting the camps. So yeah, that's pretty well done. We're getting lucky a little bit in trouble here. But he has the soul stones. So he should be fine. He should be fine. Ah! Uh... Well, here comes Mr. Tycho, and he's going to try and gust them. Oh, he's not going to do that. Okay, well, he was looking at it. I think if Lucky hit the stun, they would have. But there's Pepper. It would have been so good. It would have been so good. But uh, a shame. They're one talent here down, so maybe that's why they don't want to do it. But it would have been a very nice engage for them. They were positioned well. Okay, then. So let's have a look where they're going now. So, Falstaff's going down because obviously he can fly up. So, he should be fine. And uh, Pepper is getting hit quite hard here. Oh, it's a lot of damage. And Lucky is just using W's. W, W, W. Here's another stun. Ano oh, that's so much damage. Good Dan. Stop that man. Arrow. Stun, 
fair. Here comes the... I thought that was false out for her for a reason. Uh, for some reason. <laughs> but it was Lucio. Oh, but everyone's getting out. The stuns are there, but everyone is getting out. And we have no ults left on the red side. We do have a few ults on blue side. So, yeah, it's not really something you want to fight right now, you know? It's really not happening, I don't think. They do want to get this little camp over here. Ults are coming back, but it's super slow. March of the Murloc has been used. So that's actually like zoning them away. Because if they get hit, they take, well, fair a bit of damage. Uh, if you manage to get that, you need to drop it, man. Drop it. There we go. The bunker has been dropped. Ares is getting very low. They get the kill on the Lucio. Diablo is dying as well, but he is going to come back. We get the kill on Hanzo and Blaze. And Mr. Tycho is running for his life. But they're not going to... Oh, the hit. But we're not going to get the kill. We're not going to get the team wipe here today. Yeah, that was a very good fight for the red team. Considering that they got this elite camp and they dropped it instantly to get that healing. Otherwise, they would have died there. 100%. But yeah, they get another fort, which means there's no well for the blue team on top lane. And a three level lead. Pretty insane. Yeah, let's have a look what, uh, what blue team can do against this. Because this is a lot of pressure that's being applied on them. Mercury's just chilling right now. He's sad. Because he can't push. And he can't start chewing on the tank. Oh, Mercury egg destroyed. So, are they going to hunt for the Mercury now? Well, Diablo is thinking about it. If Mercury dies now, it could be <laughs> it could be very sad for him. Yeah, there we go. Mercury's going to drop a new egg. There we go. Now, what else can we do? We got another protector. But yeah, where are they going to push? Like, False Nuts on bot lane right now. Going to push down the bottom fort. But Murky is going to come down there to help that fort. And that fort is going to be fine. But yeah, the keep, however, is going to take some damage. But how much damage is that? Mr. Tycho is going to come in. There was going to be a gust, but the gust didn't happen. Cesar is dead, but so is Hanzo. So that's an equal trade. Falsa dies as well, so he's getting pulled back to the red team. But we're going to get a stun on the hogger. Big claps there by the protector. And there comes Squeaky. What is Squeaky going to do? Is he going to do much of the Murlocs? It doesn't look like it. It looks like he's going to get battered a little bit. Um, why is he not going to get the extra damage? So yeah, now we might just get this keep. Yeah, we are going to get it. But are they going to try and fight here as well? That's the real question here. Because we still got the big stun. It is, it is two tanks versus basically two tanks and a healer. So that's... Okay, well, never mind. The, the rest has joined. So... Red team has to return, but it doesn't really look too good. The Blast Shield has been used to protect the team. But, yeah, that was to be used over there. Then again, what can you do about it? Support camp is going to be taken. Fortification camp on bot is going to be taken. But the healing is pretty nice to have. Level 20 has been achieved. From the red team. So three levels are still. Murky is going to be a bit bigger now. We're going to get anger management haunt. So it's going to be longer. Uh, that, that is just annoying. Honestly. I uh, So annoying. They do have Lucio. So Lucio needs to be feared. Otherwise it's just going to high five it. Uh, we're looking at a Scarlet Crusade. And Blinded by Light. Yeah, and that is going to be a lot of shields. That Johanna is going to be given.
So yeah, let's see what they can do. Let's see what blue team can do to stop the red team right now. Because they have to do something. But I'm not sure what they can do right now. The bunker has been dropped. But bunker... Bunker. Yeah, bunkers. Bunker is going to be destroyed now. So bunker is gone. But we got one ult. And that is shockwave on the red side. And blue team has no ults. But that is a miscommunication and a half right there. Shockwave has been used, and we're gonna get two people falling. Blaze and the tank, Diablo. There goes the Lucio. That was a massive miscommunication there, because the Apoc got used, and then the Gust. That is, that is, that is, that is a shame. It happens, but yeah, this is most likely gonna be a lot of damage here. I'm not saying game, because I don't think it will be. But if they get another kill, it might be. Mr. Taiko has used E now. But yeah, no, they're going back. And they should. Another camp is going to be pressuring. And, well, there's a lot of pressure now. And they want to go for all the structures at this point. There's something fishy. Uh, okay, here we go. So... Falstad is taking care of top. And bottom is going to be sieged by the red team. And, well, preferably you do that before they get level 20. Because, well, that could be a little bit annoying. Murky OP. <laughs> uh, Murky, is, Murky is so strong. Murky is really strong when um, when Murky wants to. Not always, but yeah, in drops like this, it is pretty nice to have a Murky like just going around. Like, look at that. Three people were just gonna go for Murky. Like Diablo went back, but there's still two people that are gonna chase down the Murky here. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nicely done. What is Commander Rex doing? Alright, level 20 has been achieved by the blue team as well. And we're going to look at a bullseye, hellgate, mix in fire, wind tunnel and a fortified bunker. Hellgate has been used instantly, however. So that's on a massive cooldown as well. Murky is going to come down here and we're going to look for a massive fight right now. Okay, never mind. Murky's not coming down. He was, he was baiting us. These blondie enjoyers. Uh, Falstad is returning for Murky, which means that it's a 4v4, and that's actually what Red Team really wanted. And the Bunker is up, the Fear has been used on the Diablo, but Diablo is most likely going to get a little high five, probably? No, we're going to get Wind Tunnel, but the Shockwave is being used on Pepper. Pepper is going to kill the White Man, but Hanzo dies, Diablo dies. Lucio dies as well, which is really not too good right now. Cesar is going down, but Falstaff dies, and Pepper is all by himself. And that is a team wipe, and most likely game, because look at all this pressure. Well played by Red Team. And here we go, the march on the keep has begun. Look at all those catapults. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those catapults can't even do anything. They're like, um, well, what are we going to do now? Uh, I guess we fire over there. But yeah, this is going to be GG. GG, game number three. Scuff team versus hands up and hands up wins this series.